Plastic is great. From the plastic toothbrushes that freshen our mornings to the very keyboards we type on and the plastic water bottles that keep us hydrated. Given its many use cases, it is no surprise that we are producing more plastic than ever before. With the global plastic production reaching hundreds of millions of metric tons annually, the figures are on an upward trajectory. Packaging alone consumes 115 million metric tons of plastic. If spread out evenly, this amount could engulf a city the size of New York in plastic waste up to waist height. Yet, amidst this growing production, only a fraction, just 18%, is being recycled. The rest? Much of it finds its way into our environment, with millions of tons of plastic ending up in our oceans each year. This not only poses a dire threat to marine life, but also to human health, as microplastics make their way back into our food and water supply. And many countries are fighting an uphill battle to combat this problem. One of those countries is Indonesia, and I'm currently on one of their beautiful islands, Bali. Bali has around 372 rivers that carry 33,000 tons of plastic each year. And I'm currently standing next to one of these rivers, and you can see it happening very clearly. Because there is not a lot of waste management infrastructure on the island, a lot of the plastic ends up in these rivers. The plastic flows down and washes up on the beach and eventually ends up in the ocean. Despite governmental efforts, such as the ban on single-use plastics, enforcement and implementation remain challenging. Luckily, there are a lot of initiatives that leverage technology to combat this problem. That's why I'm going to the Bali Ocean Days convention tomorrow to learn all about this. I arrived at the convention and there's a lot of cool stuff to see. Let me give you a brief summary of the most interesting technology related stuff. The first company that caught my eye was the Cereal Cleaners and they offer a range of solutions to get plastic out of the water. One of their products kind of looks like NASA's Perseverance rover, but for here on Earth. It's called the Beebot and it's an electric rover with solar panels on top that screens the sand for plastic and other trash. But beaches are full of life. Luckily the Beebot is able to scan the sand in a way that it only picks up trash without harming or destroying the animals and plant life that call the beach home. It pulls loads up to 400 kilos and has a collecting capacity of 100 liters, which makes it a great solution for hotels or beach clubs that want to make sure that their guests leave nothing behind. Municipalities could also let a few of these roam the beach after a sunny weekend. The next one is Pixie Drone, but not like those drones, it is a water drone that collects floating waste. It can be remotely controlled or operate fully autonomously. It allows people to quickly take action after identifying areas with a lot of waste. Pixie Drone is fitted with a video camera and LiDAR technology to avoid obstacles and you can monitor its activity through WhatsApp. It has a 160 liter collection capacity and it is able to operate up to 6 hours in autonomous mode. Imagine what an army of these things can achieve. Just let them have a go at a certain lake or river at night and wake up to fresh and clean water. Plastic usually floats, but that doesn't mean that all plastic trash perfectly floats at the surface. And that's where Invisibubble comes in. It's a bubble curtain that redirects debris. Installed at the bottom of a river, the bubbles float upwards, dragging plastic debris along with it. It traps floating and submerged waste, measuring just 2 millimeters, diverting it to a collection point where the trash can be collected. One presentation that I really did not want to miss was the one of the sea cleaners. This is Ketut Sudarwate. He works as a project manager at the sea cleaners and plays a big role in running the Mobula 8, a boat that is designed to suck plastic right out of the ocean. After his presentation, I got to ask him some questions about the plastic problem and to see if it was possible to get a tour on the boat. He had to ask permission from the crew and their office in France. But it seems like we got a green light, so off we go. I met with Katoot in the harbor where the boat was located, and I could not wait to get on board. The Mobula 8 is a vessel specifically engineered to address the challenge of marine pollution. It's equipped to collect a range of debris, from larger floating waste to tiny microparticles and even contaminants like oil. 
With a sophisticated funneling system, this boat extends its reach, cleaning areas up to 4 meters wide and extracting waste from almost half a meter below the surface. After the waste is collected, a hydraulic system lifts the plastic on board, where it's sorted by hand. For how many days so is we this? we have the report. Okay. So this is uh, two days. So how often is this boat active? Uh, five, five weeks. Five times Five a week. days a week. Five days a week. So and how, how much trash do you often collect on one day? Sometimes we get uh, only 100, 200, but sometimes we get 500. Uh, 500 kilos? Uh, kilo kilo. Days, yes. I'm very concerned the microplastic, for example, fish, who are going to eat the fish? We are going to feed the fish, right? Eat the fish. And then that is the time only the microplastic to back to our body. So uh. this is very dangerous when we telling the story about the microplastic they realize. Now, a little bit afraid to throw the trash because what happened, they will come back to them only, right? Yeah. They are realize, oh, this is my, my mama lemon, for example. <laughs> oh, this is my, this one. So next time they will, oh my God, this is my mama lemon, the one I used it before. <laughs> now I can find it here. The Mobula 8 is the first active vessel of the sea cleaners and currently roams around Bali. But in the future, they plan to extend their fleet with more sophisticated boats and cover more places all around the world. While prevention is always better than to cure, and reducing plastic usage at the source and proper waste management is crucial going forward, it is equally important to counter the damage that has already been done. We all know the huge projects like the Ocean Cleanup and they have been doing amazing work. But it's very encouraging to see more innovative technologies being developed by different companies to address this issue. And I'm very excited to see what the future holds. In any case, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments which technology I should feature next. And I'll see you in the next one.